Good evening, everyone. <laughs> um, I'm in my pajamas, yes, and I really don't care. But this is everyone's in lockdown and quarantine, okay? Also, I just want to show you some cute things. Um, that before we get started, this is going to be a, a, a flip through of the Good Tarot by Colette Baron Reed. I'm not sure who is the illustrator, but they have half off right now at Hay House, and I'm very much eyeing the Light Sears Tarot. I'm not sure if I should get it, but it has a lot of galaxies theme. And Sacred Keep or Rustic Reader, if you're watching this, hello, auntie, auntie, spiritual auntie. Um, I want to get your deck of possibilities, but um, I have to put some money in my account, <laughs> and everything is on lockdown. So uh, that's what, you're on my list. I have the bookmark, so thank you for sending me the link. Everybody, check out Sacred Keep on YouTube. I look, I really look up to her for, um, she's very soothing and, um, a very supportive, um, tarot reader on YouTube. And you'll see her, like, liking and commenting on all my videos. <laughs> I love you, auntie! So I want to get your deck of possibilities, um, but I just have to cal recalculate some funds, um, and in the meantime, there is half off at the uh, Hay House um, website if you guys are interested because of what's going around uh, with the pandemic. And I just want to say to everybody, um, thank you for not being um, xenophobic for people who are very kind during this trying time, who are doing the washing your hands for 20 seconds, the social distancing, all the polite things. Um, we, I live in Canada, so... That tends to be a tendency. We say sorry a lot. <laughs> and um, I just wanted to show you some cute things and some stuff from Asia to kind of represent, you know, I, I look Chinese, but I'm actually Filipino-Canadian. But to other um, cultures, we all look the same. <laughs> I know how some people have a hard time um, kind of like pointing out what Asian is what, um, what kind of Asian is what. I usually can. But the whole point of this is thank you for everyone who is culturally, culturally mindful during this time and who respect those and who's not pointing blame and fingers at like um, China or anything like that. Like uh, nobody wants this virus, right? Nobody wants all these people um, dying and um, getting ill. Anyhow, out of that, out of the way, let's let's look at it's before this. I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna put the timestamps below in the comment section of this video or in the information um box of this video. Um, when this actually starts, when I actually review it. Um, in the meantime, I want to show you some cute stuff, and they are a little bit Asian themed. Um, this one is this reminds me of Australia with this cute little koala bear. Um, the packaging is on point um and i'm studying graphic design so i really like looking at cute packaging this is called lotte koala's march so little stuff like this and look at the that's the biscuit it has like these so so cute little koalas doing random stuff like random people stuff look at this koala it looks like they're dressed in an audai like a like a asian um fancy outfit look this one's like a peanut <laughs> And I just want you guys to surround yourself with stuff that make you happy and some cute things. Um, whatever brings you a smile to your face and joy. We all need that this time. Um, and that comfort and hope, you know? Self-care is really important as well. Um, I actually I need to do my nails again at home. But um, look at this cute packaging. So these are just cute things. Um that you can kind of eat. I'm out of. I'm kind of running out of quarantine snacks, to be honest. But look at before I eat this. Look at this hula. It's a hula hoop dancer koala. I don't know if you can see, guys. Let me wash and see. This is very difficult. Oh no, you can't see. But she's wearing a hula skirt. It's so cute. Yeah. And I ate the koala bear. <laughs> And this is kind of an ode to all those the Australian wildfires as well. Like that reminded me of that. And this is kind of like remembering them in spirit. I'm kind of cheesy like this. Another cheesy thing that I did was I kind of like decorated my desk as like a little altar. Because as you don't know already, um I'm still learning about stuff about 
the craft and uh, Wicca and paganism and I'm drawn to it very much so but I'm eclectic at this point I'm also reading a book on shamanism so reading books is also a good way to pass the time but I have these full flowers here on a pot my friends gave me this goddess Tara I think it's Tara Tara or Kuan Yin some kind of Asian goddess um to protect because I think when I was spiritually awakening I started hearing noises at night and it freaked me out and I did see a shadow in my mirror and that's when I realized that the spirit realm is indeed real and there are things beyond this 3d plane that exist um and I used to have a very active third eye as a child um I think only now I've reawakened and all of a sudden that bam I'm doing tarot <laughs> I haven't had a tarot set of cards since I was 13 so it's about time I have this frame and this full flowers these little eggshells are actually I was planning to put wax in it and put it as a candle instead I put instead of soil I put coffee grounds and broken eggshells as a little old to spring not necessarily an offering but it's kind of like I'm gonna put this in my plants as well because it's really good for um, fertilizing and door the door indoor plants downstairs oh my gosh i can't speak look at the seashells so looking at nature being out in nature or having stuff from nature is very soothing this is like the jagged edge of life in that the fact that water smooths over to touch it's just like us like there's jagged edges to life as well and yet we still have we still endure just like the seashell and it got scooped up by my friend in I think Dominican or Cuba when she went on vacation and she gave it to me. This is a piece of a living being from the ocean. I think it was already like out of the ocean at this point. It was cracked open so she just brought it home because she knows I like stuff from nature. So I thought that would be nice to share. And soothing. I don't know if there's beaches where you are. I know there is social distancing, very encouraged. But I feel like having fresh air... Being exposed to nature is really important as well, I feel. Um, surrounding yourself with cute things and yummy uh, food. Making stuff with your hands. I will be making um, sometime this week. Uh, college is a little bit busy, guys, so I'm sorry if I haven't put up some readings lately. But another cute thing to surround yourself with um, that is going to put a smile to your face is um, little stuff like this snowman thing with, like, the lid is a hat i think it's just really cute so things that you stumble along randomly while you're cleaning out your cupboard for example like this guy i found him you might do some spring cleaning happy ostara by the way for the people that celebrate or ostara i don't know how to pronounce that and this bunny reminds me very much of spring vibes and i found this in the thrift store so i just wanted to show you guys this reminds me of Beatrix Potter, um, Peter Rabbit, and I hope that you have a lot of growth in the spring and that it will bring about a lot of um, joy to your life, even though the situation right now um, globally is looking grim, but just to continue to have hope, hang on to your dreams, and muster as much joy, comfort, and uh, healing as you can. Okay, now this is like eight minutes long. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to put a timestamp below. So now we're going to get to the good tarot. So the good tarot is by Colette Baron Reed. And it's a little bit of a modern twist where it has images of Photoshop people on the back. It's a good hardcover here. And it has people as kind of like very ethereal as kings, queens, angels, mermaids, and fae. Um, and it focuses on the positive psychology of um, being in the now, the present moment. So it has slightly different interpretations as well than the regular tarot. Oof. So this is a little companion guidebook. Um, it's a good quality. It's a little bit shiny here with the letters and the back. So there's about how many cards here? This is a 78 card deck. That's a normal tarot. And it's very big. You see the card? inside this is the inside box this is how big my hand is and 
This is pretty big. This is bigger than your average size tarot card, for sure. Like, this takes up my whole entire hand. So it's a little bit thick for a tarot deck, but you can still shuffle. Um, I usually shuffle like this. And, sorry. I usually shuffle it like that, and then, or side shuffle, but it's a little bit harder. Like, let it fall. Because it is quite wide as well. And it has a glossy cover and glossy front. The book, if you want to look in the book, it has a note from Colette. Uh, of course, the standard how it works. Um, the different cards. And it starts off, it's very simple, which I like. It's um, So these trumps, symbolic life themes, she goes to the Major Arcana with... The card in miniature, grayscale, the name of the card, and a brief description. Um, and in the Meyer Arcana, like the four suits, if she has this as well as some quotes at the bottom for affirmations. So I think it's really nice. I'll show you some cards as well that she kind of switched. For example, like Lovers, she changed the name as well as... Um, um, the devil is changed here as well, and death is changed, uh, as well as moderation. And also judgment is changed. So there's some, some things here that she changed the name of, but the, the essence is the same. So with regards to suits, so what she does with the suits is, for example, air is swords, wands is uh, fire here, and earth is pentacles, and then water is cups. So you have the suits. So the first suit she talks about is air. And she gives a theme as to what the air represents um, with regards to thoughts, for example. And just goes on with that. And with the suits, the card, what it is, keywords, and then quotes. So for example, page of air, new ideas, a theory not yet proven, curiosity, new focus. And then you have several quotes such as, I don't really know. That's interesting. This calls for greater investigation. If I explore this way of thinking, what can I learn? So these are kind of like prompts as well um, to help you while you are looking up the meanings to things. Let's see. Um, she actually goes into her, uh, at the back of the book, she, rep she actually does readings that she's done for other customers with their permission, of course. And she shows you how she would interpret it for certain situations. And message from the artist and about the author. So, yeah. Things to think about the back. And I believe that's that's it. Um, and some mobile app advertisement. <laughs> So, let's get on with the cards. It's quite a thick deck. This almost feels like an oracle size. This green backing is very nice. It re does remind me of like a wild wood. Not the wild wood tarot, but like, like a dark ancient wood. Which I like. Like a storybook. Tuck box is good. Good quality. Sturdy. Okay, let's start. It's not in order, okay? So air is wands, uh, air is swords, and fire is wands. This is pentacles. And you see, this is an ethereal photoshopped type of um, tarot card. And that's why I was like, you know what? After my um, my secondhand shadowscapes is going to be torn and stuff because it's thin paper. All I have is this, the happy tarot, and my mini pagan cats. I said, maybe I should get the light seers tarot because it has modern people in it. Um, but yeah, these are like a fey boy. It's photoshopped very well. It has like a soft uh, haze over it. It looks very ethereal to me. Angels. Got, got birds. And it has like, if you can see the border, it almost looks like... I like this border though. It adds to the feel. It almost looks like crisscrosses. But it looks very cool. See. 
Again, I like that this is growing out of her. It's like very gives me a lot of fairy um fairy angel and fair like definitely elemental vibes. Very dreamy. This deck is a dreamy kind of deck. There's a mermaid. What a fantastical um mythological beings. And of course water is cups. Some seahorses. Oh, this looks like another little fairy girl. So this is a fool. Let's see. Well, I'll show you guys the cards. Um, what it, the difference is. So the world is still the same, but it has they changed, like the look of the world. Right, the world is usually like this. This person in the middle and surrounded by things, and this one is just the Earth surrounding the Sun. And then there's Mercury. Strength card. <laughs> oh, look at the goldfishies. Okay, they changed the emperor to a lion's head. Again, it has a very glossy finish. And it has a knight, like, armor. So that's something different there. There's no other dog here. There's just a lion. We have Messenger of Earth as well as, uh... This is like a more modern uh, kind of Photoshop. This is like an upside down. Um, is that Angel or a Fae or Mer I don't know what it is. <laughs> Maybe an upside down Angel. I'm not sure. And look, the Hermit altogether has no. Um, there's no figure. It's just things hidden, right? Um, it's like d deep, deep knowledge, um, introspection, going within, and that's why the door is closed. Like, kind of like. So the, there's the traditional um, images are changed, and I think that's really cool. Still, it gives me some Celtic vibes as well here. It's like hidden knowledge, having the keys to the hidden knowledge, and it reminds me very much of an introspection card, right? Going within. And this fire is wands, and look at this. This is beautiful. For the Knight of Wands, um, it almost looks like usually, traditionally, the wands are like a wall. In this case, it's like a hopeless situation or some kind of dire situation that needs a lot of hope. So this is a, like looks magical and she's like an elf. Very pretty elf. Hope you guys can see and not too glary. Can you guys can you see this images okay? Like I'm really hoping that it's not too too bright that you can't see the image. Um let me see here. Or nope. Or Oh, there's a face slash butterfly. Again, instead of ones, it's like lights. Which is clever. And the flowers here. Competition is sometimes five of ones. So she's like shining brightly, outshining the competition kind of thing. Six of the earth is this white stag. I hope this is clear, guys. And the pentacles. So pretty. It reminds me again of Celtic. Celtic, like a Celtic uh, symbol. A mermaid with the pearls. I like too that they have different cultures in here. There's an Asian little chick here with page of fire and the fan. There's a white tiger there. It's an interesting interpretation. And it has like a dreamy light quality to it. Like everything is in a dreamy haze. And that's a, like a little phoenix bird rising out of the ashes. So yes, this card I think is supposed to be death. And she changed it to transformation. Angels. Illumination, I guess. Moving very quickly. This aid of fire is usually things coming very quickly. Or, or like um, all at once. Um, travel can be indicated with this. That's why she's on a panda 
which I think is cool, with a fan there, and I guess, again, the illumination is what is the ones. The Hierophant is a female, which I think is really cool. Like, this reminds me of, like, a priest, because there's, like, a counter with a chalice. Tradition. So we have four of air here, but instead of um, swords, you just see, like, a lot of angel references here and wings. And the fire, she's kind of juggling a lot there. <laughs> she's... She's too hot to handle, like, too many things burning up at once. So even without any filter, like, this kind of looks like it has a very dreamy, hazy filter. That's the look of the cards. This one is kind of funny looking. Um, it looks, reminds me of a cheesy romance cover. But I think Seven of Earth is about, like, sticking to something, like, you're almost there and like keeping your eye on the prize but for some reason it's a pixie uh like like don't give up now type thing it's kind of strange with the the fairy wings is on his forehead or maybe that's an eyebrow look i don't know this uh abundant gentleman here with the stag handlers fortune's wheel this reminds me of like a carnival for some reason Three of Earth. These dresses are kind of pretty. Tower. And instead of the tower of destruction, it's referring to surprises here. They, they refer to it as surprises in the book. And um, castles in the sky. They're making room for from you know the dreams of castles in the sky to the castles on the ground kind of thing. Um, and building a strong foundation that's better for you, for your, for your best... Um, self, I think. I'm not, I'm not doing this justice. But I think it's an interesting interpretation. Things are coming very quickly, like lightning, the sudden changes. Because it's just illuminated here. There's always some kind of illumination in these cards. Three of air. And three of air, instead of like the heart, you no, know, the heart symbol with swords stuck through it. It's just like an angel here that feels very left out. It reminds me a little bit of five pentacles energy. And there's this this bird here, and then it almost reminds me of a third party situation or choosing a choice um, that that you might not see as good right now, but it's for your best self. Like I feel like the third party situation is like these two birds together, and then you're on your own, or you got left out, or or you broke up, or something like that. It's an interesting interpretation. The chariot. And instead of the devil card, they have temptation. It's like the forbidden fruit, right? The temptation, the forbidden fruit. Uh, obsessions, addictions, ma um, attachments to materialism, um, consumerism, bad habits, stuff like that. I think that's interesting. And the wings became dark. So like a negative attachment kind of bogging you down. Ooh, interesting interpretation of the star. This reminds me of Aquarian energy. Interesting, very simplistic, but still very dreamy. That's all I can say, very dreamy deck. The photorealism, but is done in a very nice way. Patience is moderation here in this case. Oh, I just noticed on her bosom, there's like a clock. <laughs> Hmm, interesting. So patience, um, calming your heart down, taking time. Mermaid Queen, Queen of Water, and the seashells there. Interesting. I have some shells as well. Ooh. I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going to keep going. And the Six of Water here for the cups, um... Not only do you notice six pearls, but if you look upside down, this girl, it becomes a younger, blonde, child version of herself, I guess. Before her hair suddenly darkened. <laughs> so it's like looking back, nostalgia, childhood, someone from your past. Interesting. 
seven of water and the options are all different kinds of fish this also is a good play on like is she underwater is she above water are they in her imagination or are these fish and clam actually real so illusions as well it's really cool oh it's buddha there's some like asian themes here too which i think is cool i, I like it um it looks like a third eye is on his belly <laughs> And um, this reminds me of, is that tulips or lotus? Yeah, lotus blossoms. Contentment and joy. Oh, abundance. Um, Nine of earth here, the pentacles, is just surrounding her and there's a little flower here. Interesting how they have masks on some of them. Oh, I'm going to stretch out my arm. Interesting also about the Justice card, um, they really simplified it down and kind of made an artistic thing where the sword is burning up here. They still have the scales of karma. I like how they incorporate nature into these, um, into the cards. This looks, reminds me very much of fairy energy, but in a very dreamy way, which I find, I find, I find that's my style. It's either whimsical, quirky, or... Or it's like dreamy and um, ethereal. I think that's a burning sword of truth as well. Like the cutting, the cutting of a karm, like the karmic sword. It'll eventually bite back, you know, and balance. Ooh, okay, high priestess. There's no pomegranate here. Definitely not. But if you look closely, it's almost like her third eye here is in the form of like a disc with angel wings like divine guidance esoteric knowledge and i see here wicca triple goddess symbol and then i think that's some kind of celtic symbol as well she's got angel <laughs> things behind her eyes it's very interesting more fey vibes and she's actually it looks like a moth there this is about divine order, if I'm not mistaken. It's also about alter. Uh, the other five of Earth with alternative forms of abundance. This one is like the divine order of things, and not understanding how things sometimes happen the way they do, which is kind of fitting. That's why I kind of mentioned it. But that there is a reason. Queen of Earth, interesting. The nose kind of reminds me of. Some kind of animal or a, a mammal. And it just blends in with nature. Very pretty. More masks for the king of air. Where's his sword? He's not carrying a sword. Just has bird wings or angel wings. Interesting and for fire they use a lot of things floating up in the air. This one looks like some kind of contraption with a compass on it It almost looks like a boat parachute without the hot air balloon um, In the sky, so that's interesting. This kind of reminds me of travel as well very kind of dreamy dream world like Lantern for the fire Ooh, this is in the cover of the box. This is pretty. The moon. Illusions versus reality. Dreams. Moon is very highlighted here. Things hidden. Interesting. A giraffe. Two of fire. This is also about power. And also, she just looks like she's waiting. Oh, seven of fire making a stand. The unicorn making the stand. And illumination. Look at all these. Little da dragonfly slash fey. Hope in the darkness is what I'm getting with that too. And then for lovers, they put it just love. Because it's not necessarily about lovers. It could be just love. Friendship love. Love of what you're doing. Making a choice with love. Something like that. So a very different um, take on the lovers. 
And also, if you notice closely in the post, I think this, like, the triangle is the fire symbol, if I'm not mistaken. So that's like passion. And this is the astrological symbol of Leo. So that's funny how lion, passion, passion and lion is, like, being brave as well. So that's interesting. Oh, looks like Poseidon, king of water. Poseidon, is that you with the trident? Ooh, the sun. Pretty. And the sunflower. So it doesn't have the child and the horse. It's like a, wow, it's like a, a sun goddess with um, sunflower bouquet. Very glam and dreamy still. Eight of water is interesting. Um, it looks like there are eight pearls in the chest. And it looks like also could be also travel um, because expansion, um, going on a journey because of the ship. And of course, he has his back towards us. But is he leaving that behind or is he taking that with him? It's a mystery. Ten of Earth. Oh, I wonder what that is. Is that a source? Universe? Oh, there's a wolf. I When I did my first uh, shamanic guided journey meditation, I saw... I saw like a light being or something transform into a wolf. So in my mind's eye. And it wasn't... I don't see when I journey. I don't see in color. It's just like... Uh, like outlines you know black against the black background you can put this on mute if you don't want to hear my voice i understand some people just like to flick through it but i just want to tell you my observations there's something on the rock there queen of fire there's also another symbol that she, i don't know what she's holding i think that might be the heart chakra Instead of judgment, it's the call. Oh, Peach of Water is a girl. It's like a balance, two of Earth. Everything almost blends into the background. There's like a little, little fay there. An earth nymph, maybe. Unicorn! Magical. Empress. It doesn't show her that she's pregnant, but there is like the abundance of harvest there. And the leaves and the flowers. Kind of attribute to that. And beauty, right? Beauty. I get this a lot. Uh oh, my... My storage is running out, guys. I'm just going to flip through this quickly. Interesting. And I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through. And the magician. So a lot of interesting interpretations. Alright, guys. Take care.